Yesterday, there was a significant earthquake between Cuba and Jamaica. And as a result, there was concern about a possible tsunami. What threat does that pose to cruise ships? What would it be like if you were right over the earthquake? I'll answer those questions in this video. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Ken Edmonds, and on this channel I help people travel more, spend less, and provide information to help uh, people with mobility challenges. In today's video, we're going to examine the impacts of a tsunami or an earthquake. Here's the video. To get a good understanding with the potential impact, we've got to start with what an earthquake typically is and why it causes a potential tsunami. So in most cases, what happens with an earthquake is the earth shifts vertically. Now, if that happens underneath the ocean and it's a significant shift, the result is, is all of a sudden all this water has to be displaced almost instantaneously. And so from the spot, there are uh, this force of moving water moving away in both directions. Now, that, at that point in time, we actually have a tsunami. But it doesn't really matter much at, right at that point in time. Because what happens with a tsunami where it causes damage is, is that as the water, that, that force of water starts to impact shallower soil, it goes up and it starts to create a wave that extends way above the surface. But in the ocean itself, they say a typical tsunami will be anywhere from a few inches to maybe three feet at the most. Now, if you're out on a ship, in the ocean and the water goes up and down by three feet, that's not something you probably would even notice. You might feel just a little bit of movement, but it would have no danger to the ship at all. If you're in shallow water, like in port or something at that point in time, then it would be a very different story. The question then comes up, okay, is what would happen if you were right over the earthquake? And those, in that case, you would experience what they call a sea quake. And it's interesting that people that have experienced it say that it felt like they had run over a sandbar or something. There was like a, a just a, a, a feeling on the ship like it had obstruct, an obstruction of some kind, but then it just keeps right on moving and it doesn't do any damage to ships. Um, the other thing that's associated with it is a, quite a bit of noise. Uh, and, in, and in fact, it is the noise from the earthquake that creates the sea quake up above it. If you're not right over it, you would probably never know what happened. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And also, if you like videos about travel and an interesting topic associated with it, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.